Hello viewers, with the advancement in technology and innovation, education sector demands upgradation and Goa has already set its foot here. With the chief minister who happens to be also the education minister of the state, Dr. Pramod Savanji, recently made an announcement that the primary and secondary schools in every taluka will have STEM labs. Today we are here to discuss on the same topic. STEM for all, inclusion and empowerment. To discuss and deliberate on this topic, we have some eminent panelists with us. To begin with, we have Ms. Sunaya Shirodkar. She is the founder director of Asia Solutions. We have Mr. Prashant DS, the CEO of Startup STEM. We have Mr. Neville Norona, OSD to the IT Minister, Mr. Rohan Khauteji. We also have Mr. Royce Fernandez, who is the special educator at Sanjay School for Special Children. So let's begin with today's discussion. To start with the topic, I would like to ask Sunaya Shirodkar, what exactly is STEM education and why is it so, it, why is it so crucial for the young minds? Uh, so STEM basically stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Math. Now why it's important for uh, the students to inculcate this particular uh, subject at a young age? One is because it helps a child to develop its, their technical skills. So when I speak about technical skills, it may be coding, it may be robotics, it may be IoT, it may be into AI. Uh, and the other most important thing is we look at also something called as the cognitive skills out there. So when I say cognitive skills, uh, when we say coding, uh, the output of it looks, uh, when we talk about scratch coding, okay, the output looks like, you know, it's an animated, uh, animated story. Yes. But behind the scene, there are a lot of codes out there. And what we teach a child at a young age to start learning problem solving skills using block based coding. So it's like basically a problem is given to a child, the child learns to learns how to solve that particular problem or reach to that particular goal uh, by using various blocks and yes. in that process of like you know it's, it's a game for them, yes. they keep on solving this thing till they reach that particular goal and uh, in this process what they do is they, they have already inculcated the skills of coding, the different types of languages which are required. Yes. So the, the fundamental is already set over there. Then they can go ahead and learn text based coding. Okay. So this is the technical skill what is taken part of. Apart from that, uh, when we speak about the cognitive skills, uh, so STEM education it's not only about technical skills, it's also about cognitive skills like you know the uh, it's team building activity, it's yeah. about building confidence, it's mm -hmm. about, self, uh, about increasing their self esteem. Uh, so all these things, like it's a it's an integration of technical skills as as well as, well as cognitive skills. But tanka kiri ashe age criteria asta. Like how early can you start? Or tasha kiri asa. Karan when you say coding, parents tanka ek stress aslo ki coding mal ayda wale wale words get. So like when you say, what should be the age criteria for them? When should you start? I think as soon as possible like you know initially ami pehli so or such it start kartali but now uh, when we have started with uh, this international robotics festival mm -hmm. and uh, it's a lego inspired uh, event mm -hmm. we have started from 4 years onwards okay so we have uh, two kids who are coming to us who are just 4 years mm -hmm. and uh, for them we told them so we don't go and tell like you know it's coding or like you know how it how yeah. it seems like it's difficult oh yes. my god it's such a huge thing but trust me when we say like we when we introduce them to the uh, coding, coding platform platform they start with something called a scratch junior and then yeah. we have scratch ah. but then when they started with scratch junior for them it's a game yeah every time every sunday that they come uh, to to uh, you know take an exposure for them it's not a learning class for them they are coming there to you know explore many things out there yes. So in that play only they have actually learned how to code. Yes. So yeah, I think four years, yes. four and a half years. <laughs> okay. Your son is there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing so a lot of changes in him yeah. too. Sir, uh, uh, Sir Prashant sir also would like to know from you. Your child Isha is also a part of the team, Dazzling Dancers, who is taking part uh, at the International Robotic Festival. What are the apprehensions that you yourself have, uh, you know, experienced from other parents? Uh, you're also a STEM advocate. So now when you hear these queries from parents, how do you tackle them? In fact, I have been uh, 
quite lucky enough to understand the importance of STEM yeah. because uh, we are, I have been in a profession where STEM is one of the most important component which is transforming the world today. And uh, I thought I should uh, look at the capabilities of my child if she can take this up. So at a very young age, she was very curious to understand things and she was also uh, showing interest in learning uh, new things. So I connected with Sunaya, who is one of the pioneering uh, startup companies in the STEM education. And uh, at the age of eight years, I guess, uh, uh, six years. sorry, six <laughs> years, uh, she got connected with Sunaya and started learning. During that time, we saw that uh, her understanding was more towards the software side. She was not very keen at looking at the hardware aspects like building the robots and other things. And uh, many of the parents also told, you know, why you want to push this child at a, such a young age into uh, high-end learning like uh, robotics and other things. Let her uh, take her time and learn it, learn by uh, herself. So we also didn't push. But uh, when she came for the competition, we saw a huge transformation. Number one, all this while she was more inclined towards doing things on her own. But here a team was formed and there was a lot of communication. They were meeting with each other, going to each other's places and houses and working on the project. So I could see their, uh, the interest, the keenness to work together as a team, the ability to communicate effectively across, you know, how, what I should be doing, what you should be doing. These are some things today which children have lost touch with. Most of them are with their mobiles and other things and uh, getting them to talk and communicate becomes slightly difficult. They, it doesn't come very easy. But through this exercise, we saw that they could work as a team, they could uh, collaborate and also the curiosity level, you know, how to get deeper into making it better. And that competitive spirit also came out saying that we wanted to do it better than, you know, what we are capable of, of as a team. So these are the things which I think which will help them in the long run. Uh, and as a, as a child, as a growing child, they are still learning. But I think these exposures will fundamentally change their lives. In, and so I'll put it in one word. It has been very transformative in nature, the way they have been doing this. Yeah. I think uh, I, Mr. Nevel also could add to it because your child is also, Therese, is also part of the robotics team who is going to perform at the international festival. So, so I have three of them. Yeah. Uh, one is my Kachalin who is six. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then I have another one, eight, eight yeah. and uh, of course Therese is... Uh, at 10. So I have uh, all of them in various age groups. Yeah. So uh, when when somebody comes up with this argument, you know, you're exposing them too much yes. to coding, coding. Uh, I really don't think uh, in that sense. Mm. Uh, I see the fun they're having. Yeah. Uh, as long as they're having fun, it's not a burden on them. It's great learning. Uh, I've seen it in all three of them. Uh, they, uh, they never hesitate when I say, okay, it's Sunday morning, you have to go for class. Therese can sleep at 12, but she'll get up early morning to go for a class. Oh, nice. I mean, that's the interest yes, they're showing. Yes. And uh, it's not a burden. Everybody wants to be on that laptop yes. to do uh, yeah. what you may call coding, but they don't call it coding. Uh, they think it's a video game. Yeah. You know, it's blocks they're putting yeah. there. Uh, okay, this thing will jump so much if I move, put this block here. Okay, yeah. so this animation will move upward. My animation will move sidewards. Yeah. They're learning it as a video game. Correct. Okay, and yeah. uh, I've seen them... When Prashant says, no, it's not only the, uh, these skills, they're soft skills they learn. And these soft skills, actually, I had a good laugh at them. Because when they tried to do their first uh, Zoom call, it was chaos. It took some five hours for them to connect <laughs> to, to make that first Zoom call. Correct, yes. But that's it. They realized uh, they were frustrated. Yes. They got. But that's teamwork. Yes. Each one was learning that, okay, she's doing this, he's doing yeah. this, my job is this. Uh, and... Uh, and I made sure that my daughter knew nobody in that group. Yeah. Right? Yes. So she knows everybody now. Yeah. And those are friendships that yeah. will take her far, Probably, probably yes. uh, many years to come. They'll say, oh, you were in that same coding yes. class and that robotics class. And uh, that is how education should be. It should yeah. be fun. And I think they're enjoying themselves. Even my Kacha Limbu, uh, <laughs> Joshua, yeah. he is enjoying himself. Yeah. He's thoroughly prepared to go and give his speech also on the day. And so, so you have seen the transformation I, at various levels. I've seen and also them really enjoying themselves. Sense of responsibility yes. that they, they, they get to inculcate yes, through yes. these And I, I had never heard of Scratch and then Scratch yeah. Junior. So these people called me, Papa, see yeah. what we created on Scratch. Yeah. So I said, what Scratch? You scratch my laptop? <laughs> so they said, no. <laughs> so Scratch was yeah. uh, the tool they used, the software yeah. to actually develop this yeah. uh, 
small program that they had Correct. written and a uh, good form of coding yes. and uh, learning that yes. they had. And I must say as parents also, we also tend to get a little hold of scratch programming <laughs> also just to <laughs> make them understand. We also had slight glimpse of everything. So on that note, let's have a some experience of first hand magic. The team of the five member team, dazzling dancers who are going to showcase their project at the International Robotic Festival are here to show us their project. So let's be prepared to experience some creativity and ingenuity. So let me show you all the working prototype of our project. So this is the stage in which the artist will perform on and basically there are tiles with FSR sensors on them which means when the artist will step on them and perform the lights will go up. So when I press this sensor the red lights will go on and when I press this sensor the green lights will go on. Calling upon Sanvi to show the simulation of a project. Now let me show you all this, the future of our project. So we have made a simulation using block programming to show you all how our project would look like in real life. Let me show you all the demo. So as you all can see, when the dancer dances, the floor lightens up. So the dancers can have more fun. We use Scratch, we use Scratch for the same. Welcome back. To take this discussion further, Suneya Maka, Anik Prashna Srila Tuja Gade. Ami Eta STEM Cha Full Form Sangla Tuve, Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics. Is it just about this technical thing, Mathematics, Engineering, Ki Taka Ani Kiri Ashe Align Programs Asa, Ki Ani Kiri Ashe Vegre Vegre Skills To Me Hon Karta Ya Burgyan Khatir? Definitely the base is, you know, Science and yeah. technology, uh, engineering uh, and promote block on Kiristan, Bakiche sections of Sadni, huh. science with Kida focus karta. Let them no, explore not, other things. So. It's not only about science, Karin. It's not hmm. that way, like uh, Kashimita, it's not only about the logical thinking, Correct. but uh -huh. it's also about getting the creativity out hmm. from a child. Hmm. Now, each and every team that is going to participate over here, they have not copied. It's an original idea that they have come up with. Okay. A theme is gi is been given to them. A challenge is already been given to the child, saying that you know, uh, so there is a stage, and there are, there could be some problems out there. Think about what problems could occur, and how do you all want to solve these kind of problems? Now, and there are different categories. Now, uh, for, uh, for the discover group, that is four to six years. They actually don't have to really do any kind of a prototype or come up with a product. They yeah. just need to come up with their idea. idea. So they, they like a four year is actually started, they have actually started thinking what can happen on a stage, what can go wrong on a stage, you know, Correct. and then create something like, you know, it's, it's a, uh, what do you say, a story or something, wherein they feel like, okay, uh, there are these two characters, they'll come together, they are having a problem, how they're going to solve it. This entire thing is what they have put on, on their stage. Okay. Correct. So this is a creativity that we have got out, like, you know, it's a new thing, it's nowhere yes. there. Yes. So, so give an opportunity for these younger minds to explore these yes. things in a different and, and way. And in fact, like you know, uh, different platform gives them the opportunity to uh, to draw their own things. Huh. Okay. So you know, like you yes. know, for yeah. Vardhan, yes. Vardhan loves dinosaurs, yes. <laughs> and we didn't have a sprite in dinosaur. Yes. Like so, we went ahead and we uh, created we another, one. We drew we create, one for him. Drew one yes. for him and got that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So different types of. Um, Subjects Correct. which are there. Yes. So, and also we, when we talk about STEM, we may also mention that STEM is all about inclusion and empowerment. I wanted to know about from uh, Mr. Royce Fernandez. He is the special educator at Sa uh, Sanjay School for Special Children. How has STEM education impacted the uh, special children? It's a proud moment for uh, Sanjay School for Special Education because they are a, a first time participating in the Goa. Um, International Robotic Festival. Yes. So uh, our students are very excited to participate, and they have shown interest okay. in learning. Like from starting for training, they also showed very interest. They were interested, and they uh, they like um, 
it's not like uh, how they were learning like uh, it's all learning through fun way fun okay fun and they also showed their creativity hmm. creativity and also the problem solving skills okay. certain problem arises they were able to see uh, detect that problem uh, suppose there was uh, any uh, like for example a loose connection or hmm. whether the robot's arm like was not working they were themselves rectifying the problem okay. huh. without our help huh. uh, so like uh, this uh, robot sir, sir the arm is not working hmm. so like we had given them full freedom okay without okay. like it's like uh, uh, what do you call like uh, okay uh, suppose uh, this you you all don't touch that huh. okay huh. it okay. will break huh. no we have given them full freedom Kar, okay it's like error based हाँ. Yeah, like they make mistake, हाँ. then they rectify it. Hmm. It's like that. Tankai bhi tumi team yes. angal un kele yes. ki individually tankai yes. kele. Yes, the, there was a, a collaboration and hmm. communication. Like for example, we have a mixture category like okay. hearing impaired slow learners. हाँ, हाँ. Like one partner was a slow learner, hmm. one partner was a hearing impaired. So they would. कॉम्युनिकेट विथ इच अदर ओके लाइक दैट या आणि मागे तुम्ही तांका ती तुमच्याकडे येताली हेल्प करपाक सो तांका समजून घेताना त्या प्रोग्रामाचेर तांका तुमका किरे डिफिकल्टीज आयल्यो तांका ते करताना मग टॅकल करता तांका सपोज तुम्ही आता म्हणिल्ले नी ताजो आम मोडलो सी मग तुमच्याकडे ते प्रॉब्लेम घेऊन येताली तुम्ही बसताली सटन दे इज टू टेल अस लाइक वी इज टू ऑबियसली गाईड देम बट they were eager like to learn more. learn that correct more. correct ha uh, this is the, the thing like tightening of this okay oh. uh, like for example uh, one problem was there out a tire okay. tire that uh, what sound was coming okay. some sound was there right. so they told us that the sound was coming so we told them this is the thing ha you all do okay ha okay te apudus magi problem karun pude etale bara asa so Uh, as mr royce just uh, mentioned that this team is going to participate that we are having going to have a small glimpse of what exactly the project here is that the students special students are going to uh, showcase at the international robotic festival hello guys my name is zoeb kachi i am from sanjay center for special education purorim goa our team name is exclusive mind uh, last week we got the robotic training we have learned lots of thing first four days we had assembled the robot then uh then we had then uh we had did coding part Th- uh, then we have learned how to operate the robot uh, by using the joystick in front backwards uh, left side right side all thing then after that we have learned how to resolve the problems Uh, after that we had starting practicing in the schools in the schools also we had got many problems like example wire losing when uh, when we was using uh, robot the speed was slow then we checked that then we got the no so wire was loose and we had fixed the wire properly then uh, then second time happened the wheel sound was coming too so we had opened the wheel which uh, checked and we had changed the we a uh, wheel and we had st- uh, we had put another wheel then we had checked that it was uh, the sound was not coming third thing the arm motor was been not working so we had opened the we had opened the motor and we had changed the motor so uh, we had faced this many problems and uh, we enjoyed the robotic training was lot we was we should go to margaon gujarati samaj school to learn this training uh, we had did 3 january to 9 january this training we enjoyed a lot uh, we learned uh, many things from there फर्स्ट हमें तो आम के मास्त बॉर्डर कौन तो व्हील आम को व्हील लो व्हील कनेक्ट कर मोटर कनेक्ट के मोटर कनेक्ट जॉस्टीक ला ये कंप्यूटर कंपनी तो लो कनेक्ट कर आखे चार मोटर ला कनेक्ट के मोटर टेले मोटर सो वी 
आम्ही तो मोटर किद्या घालो सेकंड मोटराक तो फर्स्ट मोटर आम्ही तो विलाक गेलो मागीर सेकंड मोटर आहा तो आम्ही आमांक यूज केलो दोन मोटर यूज आम दॅन वी यूज द बॅटरी फॉर द इमिडियट टू मूव द रोबोट्स एट द बॅटरी वील बी द रोबोट दे वी हॅव टू पूट द चार्जिंग फॉर द बॅटरी एन्ड दॅन वी द आम द मी आम्ही आम केलो तो पिक आप पीक करपा तो वयर ओरपा ओरोपा तो पीक आम वेलकम बॅक हे डिस्कशन फुडे व्हरताना मला सुनया कडल्यान आणि एक प्रश्न विचारपा आशिल्लो स्टॅम ॲड्स वॅल्यू टू लर्निंग अँड कोलॅबरेशन हाऊ डज इट टू दॅट आय मीन इफ यू कुड ॲड गी शेअर सम मोर यु नो वन थिंग डेफिनेटली लाईक यु नो इट्स अ इट्स अ ग्रेट स्टार्ट वेर इन अ चाइल्ड इफ दे दे रिअली नो वॉट दे आर वॉट इज दे आर स्ट्रेंथ लाईक यु नो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट रोबॉटिक्स इट्स नॉट ओनली अबाउट यु नो बिल्डिंग अ मशीन आउट देअर बट ऑल्सो सो वी हॅव टू अंडरस्टँड वेन आय से रोबॉटिक्स इट्स अराउंड फायव्ह डोमेन्स दॅट कम्स इन टू लाईक यु नो इट्स इन इट्स अबाउट मेकॅनिकल इंजिनिअरिंग इट्स अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजिनिअरिंग इट्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इट्स ए आय अँड कम्प्युटर सो वेन अ चाइल्ड इज ॲक्च्युली बिल्डिंग अ रोबॉट चाइल्ड नोज वेदर आय एम गुड इन टू द कनेक्शन्स ऑर वेदर आय एम गुड इन टू प्रोग्रामिंग द रोबॉट ऑर वेदर आय एम गुड इन टू डिझायनिंग द रोबॉट ऑर वॉट इट इज सो one thing is the moment they realize that you know oh, i'm good into electrical connections or maybe i'm good into programming the robot i need to choose this particular domain so a c- early career choice okay. is formed yes. outside okay. hmm. so so they they are filtered out i mean the career hmm. is filtered out yeah. there so they know what they want hmm. and the moment we we know that like you know once a goal has been set then nothing can stop, can stop you yeah. and you pursue that yes, goal you, you pursue do that. what may come to exactly. pursue that thing so that is how uh, the students are also you know trained or you know they are shown these are the various fields yes. that you can choose from yes. yeah okay uh, we have a representative from the government side also <laughs> sir uh, we want to know your view what how does the government view this stem education for young minds no, we are very fortunate where in goa we got a dynamic chief minister yeah. who came out with the program cm cares last year yes. which uh, the, changed the curriculum from the standard 6 onwards uh, yes. where he introduced yeah. uh, coding and robotics uh, we have a dynamic uh, it, IT minister uh, rohan sri rohan kaute Uh, who is also very much focused on youth and uh, you know taking the programs ahead for youth in fact for our startup uh, incentives he has asked us to include the youth the students so from colleges so that they are also eligible for various schemes of the government uh, to promote the startup cultures and uh, we have sunaya here which who is a wonderful example of uh, you know the uh, a startup which is contributing to society Yeah. right uh, she is training so many students and uh, you will see uh, for the international robotics festival also there will be almost six, 600 to 700 students there i mean it's a big thing for goa we pulled this event uh, due to the intervention of uh, our uh, minister uh, shri rohan khaute and we managed to pull it to goa and uh, we are sure we'll make this stay in goa so that uh, besides just getting the education right we'll also have practical usage of what we are learning Correct. right we learn it in school but uh, what are we doing on ground uh, so i am sure goa has a great future in this because uh, the way we are going with education and uh, uh, teaching them the basics of uh, robotics ai uh, coding uh, our students have a great future because this shouldn't be barriers to them tomorrow Correct. Uh, we have seen coding become a barrier to many engineering graduates but if they learn it at this stage as a fun activity they are sure to take it a long way you know in their careers ahead and it need not be engineering today robotics even a doctor uses robotics yes, today yes yes so i the uh, career path is not restricted to engineering but they can choose diverse fields after this yes having understood the basics of uh, all sciences here yes so stem gives them a good uh, feel of everything they can choose their career after that over to you uh, sir prashant ji uh, what is the actual lesson that stem education imparts to these children is it just about winning at any competition or career orientation or what exactly uh, the stem education impart to these students i think the potential of every child should be realized that's most important both yeah. for a, as an individual and as a country uh, uh, and as a society and the contributions of every person 
uh, is very important in general for the development. Now, STEM education is a platform which gives an opportunity for every individual to showcase and identify what they are good at, whether they are good at uh, the science, mathematics, engineering, Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. the full form. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So, so uh, at a very early stage when they get to identify that, a lot of their in inert skills are exposed. Yeah. For example, uh, the ability to understand how to build things. Secondly, the ability to also understand how, uh, how, how understand what is the science behind yes. things, why it is happening, why you should get curious. And if that really excites the child, then the child gets exposed and yes. the child gets deeper into the knowledge. And besides this, this is also an opportunity for them to develop. We, we call that the left brain and the right brain yes. combinations. So STEM education actually helps to develop both these aspects because it's not just a component of science itself. It's a, com it's, it's a multi-dimensional -dimension, learning opportunity. So that's why I feel STEM education is very essential, particularly at a very young age when the child is in the uh, learning stage. And with this important point, we come to the end of this discussion. Uh, before we wind up, I would like to thank all our eminent panelists for uh, spending some, so much time with us and sharing your important inputs with us and the audience, for, uh, or, and the audience uh, today. With this note, we come to the end of this discussion. Today we just managed to scratch the just the surface of what STEM education is all about. STEM helps children to foster their creativity, uh, helps uh, you know boost their innovation, and also empowers them to face the society. Remember, audience, every child needs an opportunity to empower themselves to showcase their creativity, creativity, and to create something new. Let's celebrate this diversity, help them, help these young minds innovate and also focus on a brighter future of innovation tomorrow. Thank you.